Okay, the next step is to remove this uh, bearing out of the casing. And to do that, I believe we have to use a washer that goes on the inside and it sits on the inner flange and it gets pulled out that way. I'm assuming we'll be using this. Oh, that won't work because it won't come out, will it? Ah, uh, it, will, it will need to be a pusher washer because we're going to be pushing put that in here, we're going to be pushing this out from that direction, out that way. So this washer will sit in here, it'll be a pusher. And to push on that, you can use the longer bolt. You put that in here, and as you screw down with the longer bolt, it should push the bearing out. So we'll try that first. So here I'm assembling the uh, large solid tube. I'm putting the three screws back into the flange. And I'm going to use the long threaded bolt. And this time I'm going to use a uh, box spanner with a ratchet on. And it's a 19mm which seems to fit uh, these bolts. So I'll use that one. It's a little bit more convenient than this, than this one here, which tends to slip off. Okay, I've now uh, put the long bolt through. And it's sitting in the pusher washer, in the hole in the pusher washer. So now I'll attempt to um, push that bearing out. Put it down here. And turn it there. See how we go. Here it crack it. Should pop out soon. I'll just go in a bit tighter. That's it. I can see it coming out. Okay, it's popped off. I had already marked the um, the outer flange with a bit of texture. That's the inner flange. That's the uh, earrings come out. You can see the, the washer it can come off and the threaded rod can now be withdrawn. Well, the next step will be to remove the uh, bearing off the spindle and start putting the new uh, bevel bearings on from a little machine shop. The bearings here. They'll need to be packed with grease first. Um, and this one, I'll just keep that in this bag. I don't want the, uh, the flanges mixed up and they will need to be packed with grease. One will go on the spindle casing and one will go on the shaft. See how we go. Uh, I had to remove the uh, keyway in the shaft. To do that I had to grip it in the milling vise so I wouldn't damage it because it was quite tight. Next step is to now remove this bearing and the way that's done is with a plate under here and uh, an arrangement of the pulling tubes. Right, in order to remove the bearing from the spindle I've had to make up this um, plate. This plate is going to go in here and we're going to be able to pull against the, the bearing with some bolts and another plate to remove that uh, bearing. This is the plate I've made. This slips in here. going to pull the bearing off. 
This is the uh, mechanism I've made to uh, remove the bearing. You see these uh, bolts here. They get cranked. Turn like that. And as you turn this, the, um, the bearing comes up. Keep cranking this until it comes right off. It's streets there now. Bit of a little bit more to go, another inch or so. It's the only way to get the top without a, a proper bearing pull up. Nearly there. Nearly off, so I'll 